Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'll tell you about the Yukon Community Pilot, which is a stream in the Yukon Nominee program, which is blown all over social media. And many YouTubers are saying that you don't need IELTS and you don't need proof of funds and other such requirements. But let me make it very clear to you that you do need. Uh, this is a federal scheme, so uh, you need all your federal skill worker program things like IELTS, proof of funds, education, etc. And you do need uh, IELTS as high as CLB six and CLB seven in two of the most uh, favored categories. That's uh, Yukon Express Entry and the Yukon Skill Worker Program. So just be mindful of that. Everyone on YouTube doesn't know what they're really talking about, so you shouldn't land into any trouble later on when you're applying. Uh, right so uh, yukon let me tell you a little about yukon it is uh, not a province it's a territory it's uh, it, it being a northern territory it faces a lot of uh, harsh winters and the temperatures go below 40 in some instances as well so uh, just be mindful of that when you're moving to yukon if you're thinking about moving to yukon from uh, say a tropical region right you'll be a little uncomfortable in that level, uh, in that harsh level of uh, winters. So uh, job opportunities, let me tell you that uh, although there are lesser job opportunities compared to say Ontario or uh, Quebec, British Columbia and all. So let me just uh, give you an instance of uh, the minimum wage. The minimum wage is the same in all these provinces and all these territories. So if you move to Yukon, you're saving a lot of money on things like rent, transportation and uh, other, other groceries and everything else. And uh, you might end up saving much more than you would if you would have moved to Ontario or British Columbia or something like that. So uh, there are uh, pluses and minuses, pros and cons of every province. The Yukon pilot started in Jan earlier this year in 2020 and it'll be around for another three years. So you have your time and you also do need job offers for this pilot. But don't worry, I'll tell you exactly how you can get your job offers along with all the requirements and uh, fees, processing time and step by step application process uh, with everything. Right. So just uh, without wasting any more time, let's move on to the pilot. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you wish to immigrate to Canada but don't want to spend a lot of money on immigration consultants, you can save your money and find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comments section. As you all know, there are a lot of programs which you can use to immigrate to Canada like the Express Entry, PNPs, pilot programs and even student visa streams. Every program might not suit all of you, right? Because different programs have different eligibility criteria and their own set of individual requirements. Different provinces will also have their own individual preferences for the occupations in demand in that particular province. They'll be targeting a specific group of people who they think would be a proper fit for the current job demands in a particular province. Today, I'm going to tell you about the Yukon Community Pilot, which is a federal territorial PR stream. Yukon is a territory in the northwest region of Canada. It is the largest city in northern Canada, which is situated directly to the north of British Columbia. As far as the climate goes, most of the parts of Yukon have long cold winters and short warm summers. Let me tell you about this pilot a little bit. This program was actually launched earlier this year in January 2020. It is a three year pilot program and the purpose of this program is to attract and keep people in the Yukon community to basically help Yukon's economic development and labor market needs. So this is a list of all the communities participating in this pilot program. Now let me just walk you through the main requirements for this program. The first and most important requirement is to have two to three job offers from up to three employers within the same community. Okay, so now most of you might be wondering how, right? How can you get even one job offer from Canada, leave alone two to three job offers? So I've made a detailed video for you on how exactly you can get a job offer in Canada from your home country 
through references and online portals such as Indeed, JobBank, LinkedIn, etc. These tips work even better when you're already here in Canada and maybe searching for a job. And I'll add a link to this video, this job search tutorial video in the description box below. This video will definitely help you to find job in one of the Yukon communities as well. Also, on Yukon's official website, you can find three job search websites where you can search for job in the Yukon communities. I've listed them here on the screen for you. And as you can see, the job bank site which I mentioned earlier and explained about in my how to get a job in Canada video is the third one listed here by the Yukon government. Your job offers must add up to at least 30 hours in a week. Now what does that mean and why do you need more than one job offer in the first place? This simply means that if you aren't able to secure a full-time job offer, you can secure two or more part-time job offers and you can add the working hours for these job offers so that the total becomes at least 30 hours a week or 1560 working hours in a year which I'm sure you'll know by now is the standard full-time working hours total count in Canada. The second requirement is a copy of a nomination letter from the government of Yukon confirming that you've been nominated for permanent residence which is similar to a provincial nomination. You can get your nomination letter by applying to any of, this three, uh, of these uh, streams through the Yukon government webpage. The last requirement is a signed letter of support from the government of Yukon stating that the employers who are offering you your jobs need you to work in the community as soon as possible, that the job offers are genuine and the details of the job offers including the names of your employers, your occupation, the number of hours you'll be working and the job locations. After you fulfill all these requirements, you just have to fill in an online application on the IRCC website, which is the official Canada government immigration website and enter Yukon pilot in the search box towards the top. Next, click on Yukon community pilot and scroll down to the how to apply for the work permit section. Select where you're applying from, either outside Canada if you're working from your home country, you're applying from there, or inside Canada if you're already in Canada on another visa. Kindly note that if you're in Canada only as a visitor on a visit visa, you'll still need to select the outside Canada option. Let's say you're applying from your home country, which will be the case for many of you. You'll have to create an account to submit your application, documents and pay your fees. You'll have to register yourself or just sign in with your GC key user ID and password if you've already created an account before for another stream. Clicking on register will take you to this page which lists clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to register yourself for your IRCC account by signing in or signing up through your GC key ID. Once you create your account through your GC key, username and password and email address and log into your account, you'll come to this page where you can start your work permit application. You just need to click on apply to come to Canada and then visit a visa, study and or work permit. Then just answer this simple questionnaire. Let's say the first question is, what would you like to do in Canada? So you select work here since you're applying for a work permit, right? How long are you planning to stay in Canada? So you select temporarily, but more than six months. Select the country code that matches the one on your passport so say IND for an Indian passport and then select the country where you're presently residing in. Next, select yes only if you have an immediate relative who is a Canadian citizen or PR holder, which means either your spouse or common law partner, dependent children and their dependent children, which means only if you're a spouse of, parent of or grandparent of a Canadian citizen or PR holder. Next, enter your date of birth. 
You can wish me on this date here. This is my birthday. Are you a lawful permanent resident of the United States with a valid US citizenship? The rest of the answers will depend on you and uh, so I won't go too much into detail. Once you've completed your form, you can review it and edit any changes that you may need. When you click on continue, you'll see the detailed steps to submit your application along with accepted document formats since you have to scan and upload all your documents online along with your last step which is your fee payment. The total fee for this would be around 340 Canadian dollars which would include your actual work permit, biometrics and open work permit holder fee. Your application submission would be completed after you upload scanned copies of your documents and pay your fees. The work permit that you'll be receiving will have a validity of 2 years and it does not need an LMIA or a labor market impact assessment which is great news and will save a lot of time and effort for both you and your employer. This work permit will let you work for a maximum of three different employers in the same community. These are the people who can't apply through this program. But if you're among these, don't worry, just log on to IRCC and have a look at the many immigration programs that may suit your profile better. Or else you can even check out the many videos that I've made in the past. You can check the processing timelines for all programs such as PR, citizenship, work permits, etc. on the IRCC website. All you have to do is enter the necessary details. In this case, it would be temporary residence for a work permit from outside Canada and the country you'll be applying from. As you can see, in this case, it would be 21 weeks for India. Alright guys, that's all the information I have for you today. If you have any doubts about the Yukon Pilot, do comment below. I answer everyone that asks any queries below. So uh, do hit the like button if you think this information was helpful and share this with someone you think it might help. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the Canadian immigration processes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.